Hey guys, it's BSRC here for RC Nightmare. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild your brushless motor. Now, I'm using the Traxxas brushless motor off a of Slash. You may have another brand. They're all pretty similar in how they're built. There's not, much to, not too much to them, so I'm going to show you how to do it. For this motor, we're going to start by popping off the back, back plate. So this just pops off. There you go. Now we got the back plate exposed. And in this design, we have four screws on the back of the motor that hold this plate in. So we're going to remove these guys to gain access to it. Now these are real small screws, so make sure you got a nice tight fit with your Allen driver. You don't want to strip them out. And they do use Loctite on these, so they'll be kind of hard to remove. They're going to fight you a little bit. If you do need to replace your bearings, guys, make sure that you do get that Traxxas rebuild kit. There's a major difference between the bearings that are on your axle carriers, for instance, and the bearings that have to go on a brushless motor. Bearings that go on a brushless motor spin at tens of thousands of RPMs, or the bearings on your axle carrier that spin your wheels only have to spin at a few thousand RPMs. So don't mix the two. If you put a low speed bearing in your motor, it will probably explode or seize at those high speeds and destroy it. Keep that in mind. And because this is a waterproof motor, Traxxas has a rubber seal right by the wires here. So take care that you don't damage that as you're pulling the back plate off. I'm going to use a little flat head to get underneath the back plate and just push it out a little bit, just like so, just to help us get it started. So now I've got my back plate loose. I'm pull it right off. And you'll notice that you have a bearing right there in the rear of the back plate. That's your rear motor bearing. And now we can see inside the motor. We've got the rotor, that's the spinning part of it, and the can. Make sure now, as we have it apart, there's nothing supporting your rotor anymore, so don't spin it. You don't want to rub it on anything. To get the rotor out, I'm just going to push the front of the shaft out the rear. You can see it coming out there. Now, this is a very powerful magnet, so make sure you don't pinch your fingers. It's going to fight you. Now, we can see on the rotor, I got a spacer and a couple of small shims. Take care not to lose those. If you're rebuilding your motor, you're going to get a rebuild kit from Traxxas and they'll give you new shims. But again, take care not to lose these shims. Um, I don't have any on the front on certain versions of this motor. You may have some on the front of the shaft too. So just so I don't lose them, I'm going to take them off now and set them aside. Okay, I got those off. Now this is an extremely powerful magnet here guys, so make sure you don't put it by anything like your cell phone or your credit cards or anything real electronic for that matter. Um, Extremely powerful, it can damage a lot of stuff. So set that aside somewhere safe. And now we can inspect the rest of the can. So really all that's left here are the windings inside the motor. You can see some of them there, the copper windings. And the front bearing, which you can see a little bit from the front, a lot more clearly through the back of the motor. Now to inspect the bearing, just use your finger, stick it on the inside race, and spin it a little bit if it feels gritty like there's sand in there, or if it's real loose, you're going to want to replace it. Ours feels real good yet, so I'm not going to pop it out. Now, if we did have to remove them, these, are, these bearings are press fit just a little bit. So what I found that helps is to heat up, in this case, the end plate. I, you can use a hair dryer, heat gun, or stick it in the oven, like 100, 150 degrees. Just heat it up a little bit, and that bearing will pop right out for you. Small smack with the screw, on the screwdriver on the back side will pop it out. And same goes for the front bearing. That's press fit, and the only way to get it out is through the back of the can. So it's a little more difficult to reach. Again, just heat up the can with a hair dryer, heat gun, or stick in the oven, 100, 150 degrees. Use a screwdriver and pop that one out. When you're putting the new bearings in, put them in a freezer first to cool them down. Heat up the can, and because the bearings have cooled down and shrunk, and the can is heated up and expanded, the bearings will fit real easily. They'll fall right in place all the parts will get back to room temperature and it will be held in place for you. Then you don't have to fight the can so much. So again, I'm just checking the inside of it because we use a waterproof, chances are you probably ran it through water. Check for any signs of rust or water that might have gotten in the can. Ours looks real good. I don't see any problems at all, so I know we're all set. And this thing's good to go back together. So to put it back together, grab your rotor, put the spacer and shims back on like so. And this part we got to be extremely careful. If you just haphazardly push this in here 
it's going to snap real tight. And if it's not lined up, you might damage your motor or pinch your finger. So what I like to do is I stand the rotor on end, get the front of the shaft and right where you want it. Again, it's going to want to pull in real fast, so pinch it hard. Get it lined up with the bearing. After you got it lined up, you can slowly raise the can and the shaft, the rotor will pull itself right in. All right, now I got the rotor all the way through. My shim's still on. Take your end, end cap and simply put it over the end. Again, take care that this rubber seal here is on the outside lip and it's not pinched. With that back on, you can put in your four screws. Make sure you get them nice and tight. And that's that. That's all there is to rebuilding a brushless motor. If you guys have another brand of brushless motor that you're having trouble with, feel free to comment below. You can also post up at RC Nightmare Forums. If you have any questions about brushless motors or anything RC related, we'll get all your questions answered there. We'll talk to you soon, guys.